time. It'll take some time. Flanging twires. Flanging twires. Rita snats. Yeah, yeah, Rita snats. Hey, don't, don't go there, man. Forda snats. I got to know. Just let it lie. Forda snats. Oh, heck, Crow, I'll just say it. You're different. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, then how come I don't remember you? The Forda snats. Ah, oh, forget it. I'm knocking off for a ho-ho. Oh, Serva, how long is this going to take? We, we have to get back to our own time. Well, Mike jerking around must have caused a flame out. Your pigeon tube is shot. Your Jimmy Cawcaw's grovered in three places. Oh, ten days. Ah, uh, you have five days. Okay, then, two weeks. Well, you just said ten days. Well, I forgot I have two vacation days in there. <laughs> I don't know why you don't just use the nanites. Nanites? You know, tiny robotic self-replicating machines no bigger than a molecule. I didn't know we had any. Where are they? Well, they're kind of everywhere. You're sitting on about a million of them. Yeah. They self-replicate like men. Okay, okay, come on over here. Forget oh, okay. Now. All right. So. Hey, uh, wh where did you get a magnetic resonance uh, scanning and tunneling microscope? Fella named Helmet lived here about uh, 20 years. I remember him. Quite fondly, in fact. Uh, hello, uh, anybody in there? My name's Mike. Does that matter? Yes, and hello, Mike. Connecting. I am Nanite Engineer Device or Ned. Please tell me the nature of the problematic substrate or reverse of condition which you would like corrected or anything from Mike. Hold on. Here comes Wade. Hello, Wade. Yes, hello, Ned. Hello, Mike. As Ned was saying, beyond our copious and continual self-replication okay. resident order is our task in the precise correction of Correct. reverse of conditions and the implementation of uh, appropriate technology no, relevant no. to that condition. But I'll let Ned here fill in the blanks. Thank you, Wade. That's Wade was saying. I... Oh, hold on there, Pards. Uh, I can't understand a word you're saying. Can you simplify it? a little? Of course. Where are my manners? Forgive me. What can we do you for? Ah, that's better. Well, you see, the ship is broken and it won't go. Can you uh, fix it? Of course. Of course. We live to serve. Live to serve. Initiate molecular diagnostic, molecular array, diagnostic array, 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 So, Crow, where'd you get these little guys, anyway? Well, I won two at a county fair a while back, and well... <laughs> <laughs> How many are there now? Ooh, say? let's see. Last ballpark count, about 218 billion trillion. Well, enough to populate several small planets. For <laughs> rate routine, read invasive oh, anomalous crude oh, technology, oh, blocking oh, access port C3 on Niner, jettison, jettison. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Well, I should mention that their ultimate goal is to take over the universe. Oh, yeah, it figures. <laughs> we'll be right back. You okay up there? Oh my goodness, they're messing around with a thermonuclear device. Yeah, and they're supposed to be sending us the movie. Well, Jeez. That, that, no, you fool. The Earth is going to be destroyed and take us with it unless we get the nanites to fix our ship wow. now. Yes. Hello, nanites. Yo. We need our ship fixed, and we need it fixed now. Well, I'm the only one here today. You got a work order? Well, no, but I told you about it a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, what's the name on that? Uh, Nelson. Mike Nelson. Felson? No, Nelson. Felson, right? No, Nelson. Nel Nelson. Relson? No, no, it's Nelson. Ne what? Nelson. Well, I'm going to go check it back for that work order. Why don't you have a seat, Mr. Relson? Get yourself a cup of coffee. Okay, oh, thank you. Cool. Hurry up, please. Whoa! Oh, holy bomb. Well, it's no oh, use. The locking nuts froze, and we need something to oh, grab onto the hub while we crank on it from below. Uh, why don't you just use a pair of locking pliers and a spanner? No, I like the like. <laughs> That's brilliant! Thank you, Nels Barat. Do you hear that, Peanut? Yeah, I think it'll work. Okay, let me grab it. Okay, ready? Two, three. Detonation in 30 seconds. <laughs> oh. Good one, Nelson! Oh, uh, wonderful bomb, oh, glorious bomb, oh, wonderful, glorious bomb, oh, wonderful bomb, oh, glorious bomb. Oh, okay, what's the poop, boo boo, and let's make it fast. I'm late for cardio boxing. Yeah! Well, we armed our neighbor's thermonuclear device, lawgiver. And I help. Okay, fine, great. Uh, you start the movie, put it on auto execute. And I'll be right back. 15 seconds to detonation. Well, Nelson, your movie today is The Deadly Mantis. And by the way, what is a thermonuclear device anyway? Uh, uh, please hurry up with that work order. Well, I found it. Must have fell behind a desk. <laughs> okay, great. So how long to fix the ship? Oh, not long. There, it's done. You have control of your ship. Come on, I couldn't... Ah, yeah. Wow, they're quick. Well, why didn't you do that weeks ago? Hey, I don't go to the job without a work order. Uh, yeah. Forget All it. right, here we go, guys. All right, All right. Mike. Yes. Warp speed. Yep. And... Engage. <clears throat> oh, right. Oh. 
I feel a disturbance, as though a million monkeys cried out at once, and then were silenced. Yes. It's unimaginably horrible. Yes. The Earth is destroyed. Uh, no. Worse. We got movie. No! Oh. Well, she lived a life that was... Uh, well, she managed to live a life that... Yeah. Well, she was alive, yeah. technically. Yeah, yeah. Alive. boy, true enough, huh? Crow, weren't you saying something the other day about her, that she wasn't as awful as one might think? Oh, no, 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 no. I was, I was talking about that show Nash Bridges. It's pretty good. It's got this cute lady. Oh, well, you get our drift, Lord. Now that Pearl has gone over to the other side, or rather has been hurled violently to the other side, really, because of Mike's bottomless stupidity. Why do you blame my bottomless stupidity for everything? It isn't up. Hey. Hey. Your reports of my death were greatly exaggerated, you crapheads. I escaped with minor damage to the dew. Now, eat lead. Oh, she's got that spaceman souped up to heck and back. She's out maneuvering me at every turn. All right, baby, out! Out, 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 out! Get it, Gyps! Ha! Nelson, you big sissy, making that oversized purple shop back do your driving for ya. Ha! Oh yeah, sister! Well, you're gonna be eating my space dust! Dream on, I'm switching to my nine iron dead girl. What the hell is this, an old throw rug? Ah! Who is it? I have a gun. I have lots of guns. It's only I, Lawgiver, your wretched servant. Boo boo, you dared stow away no. on my ship? Oh, no, I didn't really. I just. Well, the force of the blast must have thrown me into the doors of your own. Save your pathetic excuses, you giant hairball. Make yourself useful. You ever use one of these? Of course, Lawgiver. Our civilization is far advanced in the use of weaponry and. Oh, I shot my toe! You've off. never handled a piece, you big fibber. Well, I have, Lawgiver. It's just been a long time, and I don't. Oh, I shot my other Shut up! We're losing them! Wow! Oh, nice job, Gypsy. You shook him. You're like the Shirley Muldowney of deep space. Thanks. Listen, I'm gonna downshift now. Hang on! I'm gonna try to pull behind this asteroid! Kill the lights, Mike! Where the hell did they go? Nice job, Gypsy. I think you shook him. Phew, I need a diet fresco. Servo, what's that supposed to be? I'm idling. We'll be right back. Oh, stop it, okay? Okay. <laughs> Mail call! Oh. We're lost in time and space. Mail call? Yeah, but the service is really good up here. Look, it's a letter from Peanut. You got it? Oh, look at this. Peanut. He says, Dear Mike and all, blast from end of world hurled me back in time to the year 2112. Oh. Weather's been great. Live in Wisconsin, met a nice girl. Oh, and he sent nice. a picture. He says her name is Ludmilla Nelson. Uh-oh. Relative of yours, Mike? <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, what are the odds of that? Uh, why don't you put that on still store there, Cam? Yeah, 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 put uh, that up there. I see a resemblance, Mike. Congratulations, Mike. <laughs> come on, it doesn't look anything like me. Get oh, Mike, here. your precious granddaughter or your lovely big bone great granddaughter. Whatever. It's <laughs> certainly a joyous day for any Nelson woman when she meets the ape of her dreams. <laughs> Mrs. F is calling. Mrs. F. F. <laughs> Nelson, you shook me once, but I'm still here. Never forget that. Frog hat, not Yeah, whatever. <laughs> because, Nelson, you can never escape me. Hey, because sweet I... corn. Let's stop for some sweet corn. No, I don't want to stop for sweet corn. Oh, oh. Wherever you go, Nelson, I will be there. More sweet I corn will... and pumpkins and corn. Let's get a corn. Oh. Look, are you bored? Do you want to drive? Sure. <laughs> right. Huh. Okay, wait, I, I got it. I got wait, I'm looking. I got it. Nelson, I will hunt you down. I will find you, Nelson. Because no matter where you go, Nelson, who will be there with Mrs. Pearl? Bravo! It's yeah. the perfect chance to help Mike. You see, 
you go back into his past, right, convince right. him to take a new direction in his life, yeah. and then time changes so that Mike never becomes trapped on the satellite at all. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but what if things go wrong? Well, there's a small chance we'll warp ourselves and the rest of the universe out of existence. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Accessing 1985 okay, now. Okay. Let's see, Central Wisconsin. Right. Homing in on Mike. Wow. Oh, man, what a what loser. Boy, <laughs> Look at him. He's working at a cheese factory. He's going absolutely nowhere. <gasps> Great Scott. Oh, he's a Journey fan. We, we have to help him. I'm coming, Mike. Okay, Crow, remember, try not to be conspicuous. Blend in. Mike Nelson to the lunchroom. There's a robot from the future waiting for you. So much for blending in. Huh? Oh, hello. Dude. Mm. Oh. Hey, man. Dude. Can we make this quick? It's coming out of my break time. Uh, yes. Greetings, young Mike. Um, my name is Crow, and I've come from the future to help you change your miserable dead-end life. Jeez, nobody said anything about that. How does that work? Dude. Uh, 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 Mike, you are about to embark on an endless, worthless string of temp jobs. Hey, man, temping's great. You know, it's flexible hours. You can sleep in. You can ditch whenever you want. Well, actually, that sounds pretty good. Uh, do you get bennies with that? Blue Cross. Wow, that sounds cool. Uh, how do I... Now, what am I saying? Mike, I have seen your grim future. If you don't change your life... Eventually, you'll be shot up into space and forced to watch terrible movies. <laughs> shot up into space. Did you hear that, man? Dude. That'd be outrageous. It'd be like Space 1999 no, no, or something. Don't listen to me, you simp. I, 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 I mean, <laughs> what about your dreams, your, your hopes? A hollow, desperate eternity in space? That's no future for you. Yeah, but it beats getting burned by the cryovac machine. Dude. <sighs> exactly when in the future will you become not stupid, Mike? Uh, uh, Crow, this is Tom. Maybe you should just kill him or something. I don't know. Hey, who's that? Um, that's, uh, God. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Crow, wrap it up. Hey, it's almost commercial sign. I'm coming! Okay, Micah, I'll be back in just a second. Uh, eat your lunch or something, and don't take any temp jobs while I'm gone, okay? Boy. Robot from the future. Dude. Listen, Mike of the past, you are a promising young man. Bright, handsome, well-loved, culturally aware, and... Uh... <laughs> hey, look, man, Lonnie Anderson. <laughs> Will you put those down, you idiot? You stupid, repulsive... Uh, uh, hope of our nation's future? Uh, do you realize the gifts you're squandering if you stay trapped here? Like, like your band, your wonderful music. Well, that's true, Robot from the Future. I won't be able to make my gigs if I'm stuck up in space. Yes, your gigs, dim young version of Mike. Your music, which, if you nurture through these coming years, could bring meaning and solace to millions. What's your band's name again? Sex Factory. Yeah. And you're right, we, we totally rock. And I don't want to be stuck up in space watching no. stinky movies when I could rock the world. Right. I I'm out of here, man. I'm, I'm quitting. Rock on. Thick as a slab of Canadian bacon. Well, bit of effort, but still, in the end, A plus, Crow. <laughs> dude. Uh, dude, yes. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna go uh, check on the Gouda. See whiz. Yep, good work, Crow. Why, thank you, Crow. Ooh, sorry. Hey, hey, watch where you're going, you skinny freak. Gee whiz, sorry, Mike. I didn't mean Mike, to... that was Mike. Eddie, Eddie, hi, Eddie. Sorry, Eddie. Here I am, Eddie. Hey, where you been, midget? <laughs> uh, sorry, Eddie. Won't happen again, Eddie. I was ashen. <laughs> okay, Ashen. So, uh, oh boy. You're not Mike? Or... Mike, who the hell's Mike? I don't know no Mike's. Yeah, shush, Crow. Eddie don't know no Mike's. Hey, what are you hey, about? shut up. Shutting up, Eddie, right away. <laughs> yeah, except for my loser kid brother, Mike. Oh, you know that idiot quit our temp jobs to go work with his band? band. <laughs> yeah, I missed out on some really great jobs. Some of them even minimum wage. Minimum wage. <laughs> uh, this would have been a great job, except for those two guys shot me up into space when that sleepy eyed guy left. So, uh,. Edward. Um, Eddie. The name's Eddie. Eddie. So, Edward, your brother's band didn't uh, do too well? Or? I'm kidding. They were doing great. great. They were already opening for Motorhead when Mike bought it. What? What? Yeah, you kidding? He totally cacked right on stage. Hey, what are you, stupid? Well, uh, assume I am, uh, Edward. Yeah, you know, the Cleveland Civic Center? Cleveland. You know, chicks were really digging him. They're chicks. throwing their hotel keys up oh, on the, the stage. Keys. A couple of them big ones caught him in the bean. He the went keys. down, never got up again. Nuh -uh. Died like a mangy dog right on stage. <laughs> Man, I was really proud of him. Yeah, Excellent death. Excellent. <laughs> oh, this reality is even worse for Mike. I gotta get back and warn him. Hey. 
Did this little pencil neck just say our reality sucked? <laughs> yeah, Eddie, you sure did, Eddie. I heard him, Eddie. Yes. <laughs> oh, now we got movie oh, sign. No. Get inside the theater, yeah. Runt, and you bring me a beer. I bring a beer, Eddie, right away, Eddie. Come on, the beer. <laughs> hey, look at this mess from last night. I thought I told you to clean this up. Well, gee, Eddie, I, I did, Eddie, but, but, but these are just from a couple of minutes ago, don't you remember? Hey, shut up. <laughs> okay, I'm shutting up right away, Eddie, right away. Sure, Eddie. Uh, Servo? Yeah. Edward, I'm going to rinse out a few things. I, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that guy. Uh, neither do I, Eddie. I don't you get like him at all. him? I don't, I don't understand Eddie. Greetings, young Mike. Uh, my name is Crow, and I've come from the future to help you change your miserable dead-end life. Hey, robot from the future, there's another one of you guys to see you. <coughs> hey, me. Oh, hey, me. Uh, can you hang on a second? So, anyway, Mike, that's why I think... Oh, no, we, we screwed something up royal, didn't we? Well, you screwed something up royal. Whoa, really? How do you know it's not you who screwed it up? Uh, look, I'm from about a half hour into your future. I think I know a little bit more about what the heck is going on than you do. Listen, Mr. Future Pants. Oh. If I steer Mike away from a career of bad jobs, he'll never end up stranded in time and space. Well, listen, Mr. Half Hour Ago Doof. If you do, Mike will end up bludgeoned in a pool of his own blood. Oh, yeah? Uh, hey, what are you guys talking about? Hey, Mike, hey, this doesn't concern you, okay? Look, don't change Mike's future or he dies, okay? Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, it's about time. Ooh, I gotta get back. Man, was I a jerk a half hour ago. Oh, um, Mike, hi. Forget what I was saying. Uh, forget your band. It's going nowhere. Stick to a life of menial, low-paying jobs, okay? That's cool. Good, thanks. Students, please join me in thanking Mr. William Catt. Truly, you are the greatest American hero. There he goes. <laughs> Boy, I sure hated to do that. <laughs> Guys, what? what are you dressing me as James Lipton for, you weirdos? We have to get going on our escape plan. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey! hey. Crow, have the nanites constructed my modular descent unit yet? Uh, yeah, sure. Why uh, not? <laughs> then, since we are in high geosynchronous orbit, I will descend and jump off on some unknown location on present-day planet Earth. Uh, uh -huh. th then, of course, you'll alert the authorities and rescue us, right? Uh, time permitting, uh, sure. Oh, that sounds yeah. reasonable. Well, hey! Boy, it's really a long way down. Have not made contact with Earth yet. Over. Uh, keep going, you big dope. <laughs> Over. What was that? Over. Uh, nothing. Over. I thought you said something. Over. Uh, no. Over. But I said it was a long way down, and then you said Look, would you just drop it? Uh, Over. Jeez, okay, all right. I'm through the atmosphere now, and I'm approaching a large structure of some sort. I am opening a hatch of some sort and am dropping the ladder in. I will enter the actual structure now, which appears to be a barn of some sort, or a... No, it's an eatery. It is an eatery. I will approach one of the patrons and attempt to gather information on my way... Where Train guy? Yeah. You went around and then... I could just... Ah! Okay. Get back up and watch my movie. Uh... Which is, uh, what again? Werewolf? Yeah. Uh, Brandon, you wouldn't want to see me back up here. No. Didn't think so. I just got, you know, get back up and watch my... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna scrub this one, guys. Over. Uh, yep. Get pasty butt up here now. Over. Uh, what's that? Over. Uh, never mind. Movie sign! Uh, over and out. No, I, I swear. I said something about what the heck is back here. So, uh, how'd it go, Joel? Uh, it went pretty good. I did have some trouble, though, with the digital switching module. It was all greasy. Yeah, Mike here tried to patch it with strips of bacon. Oh, well, uh, I've updated all the necessary systems. You shouldn't have any problems for the next 10 years or 20 million miles, whichever comes first. Uh, you know what? I did want to show you this fuel filter, though. You see all that gunk that is building up in there? Ew, yuck. Uh, that's got to affect performance. Yeah, it sure does. It's a good thing I happened along here. Now, if you'll just sign this, uh, I'll be on my way. Okay, well, thanks. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Sorry about that. I don't think about my fuel filter. No, that's filter. the thing. People yeah. don't think about it. Oh, you know what? Pearl's calling. Hang yeah, on. Yeah, you can pay me now, pay me later. Yeah, whatever. no, I hear you. Joel? Is that Joel Robinson? <gasps> hey, hey, Frank. Hey, look at that. It's Frank. Frank, how are you, Frank? Pretty good. Uh, been soul stealing. In fact, you're on my list. I'm going to need your soul. You know, when, when, when you get a minute. 
Yeah, oh, uh, you better get going there, Joe. Hey, hey, what about us? Can you take us with you? Uh, no, I don't really want to. Why? What? Why? Well, I'll tell you why. Because the years I spent here on the satellite of love were the best damn years of my life, and I wouldn't want you mugs to miss a minute of it. Really? Yeah, really. It made a man out of me, and maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, it'll make a man out of you too. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. it. Right. You get going, and I'll stay yeah. here, and I'll get busy being a man. Yeah. That's right. I right. knew there was something I liked about you, Mike. <laughs> and you two bots, you just keep them flying, and remember Joel. All right. We'll all right. Yeah. 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 Sorry, Joel. Oh, there goes Joel Robinson. Yeah. Just yeah. yeah. let yeah. yourself out. Right out there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Oh man, think about it. A real man like that allowing me to find my own way. That's right. Hey, press the button like a man, Mike. Yeah. Give it a try. Okay. Oh yeah. Smooth for the man. Mike, Crow, Snack, I've done it. This experiment will thrust me to the highest ranks of mad science. All done. We've soldered tiny electrodes to all the speech and motor sensors of Bobo's brain. It will either kill him or allow us to control his every motion. Oh, and it's portable. All controlled by this universal remote we got at Target for nine bucks. Here, try it out, girl. Oh, let's start with a few simple motor skills. Um, a left hand twitch. Oh. A nice knee jerk. Sure. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, try the self-strangling macro I put in there. Lovely. Oh, okay, and now my favorite. Perform a stupid soft shoe grab cattle prod applied to self while singing tonight from the charming libretto of West Side Story. No, please, it'll kill me the tonight. Tonight. Oh, just Learning that hurts. Try it out, Mike. All you need is a universal learning remote with the control code for Bobo found in the manual. Officer Crumpy! <laughs> Okay, Pearl, got it. Go ahead there, Crow. Okay, let's see. Sanyo, 02, Hitachi, 19. Ah, here it is, Bobo. Press 14. 14. Okay. 14. Yeah. Enter. Okay, what should we do? Oh, I got it, Mike. Come here, come here. If I bring us down, that's it. Yeah. Okay. That's good, okay. That's kind of, Right, right. And then, yeah. Enter. Yeah, whoa. Oh, sorry, Pearl. Can't help myself. <laughs> Man, that must hurt. Oops, sorry, great guy. All involuntary muscular action. <laughs> now to involuntarily bring Mike and the bots down. <laughs> it works. Yay. Okay, great. Now I'll just have Bobo tie up Pearl and Perfect. Brain guys right. so they can't get. Uh oh. What? Uh oh, what? Ah, I hit the sleep function. No, oh, Mike! Mike. <laughs> Good one, Nelson. You almost got me. I have a little work to do, but first, let's get the monkey all nice and punished. Pluck all nose hairs with rusty pliers. Uh, oh. Brain Dad, let's send these guys track of the moonbeams. It stars nobody and features nothing. I hope you gag on it. Oh, uh, now we try it anyway. Ten seconds and counting. What? What's going on up here, Gyps? Seven seconds. And... Oh, it's so sad. So sad. What? Whoa, Mike. I'm ready, you guys. Boy, I can't wait to see Spooner, Wisconsin again. Servo, Crow. Gypsy, so long. I love you guys. Mike, what? what are you doing in there? Well, it's my turn to escape. Joel got to go right after he saw a really bad Joe Don Baker movie, so, you know, oh, I just figured... Oh, Mike. Well, anyway, I left you a plaque there with an inspirational poem on it. It's from my favorite movie, Herbie Goes to Monte Carlo. He's in Though you are small and white, your wheels are silver. M Mike, and they always Mike, inspire Mike, me. Mike, Mike, Mike! I'm sorry, buddy, but you're not going anywhere. Nope. But I just suffered through a really bad Joe Don Baker movie. Unrelated, Mike. Sorry. You see, Gypsy sent Joel back to Earth in an escape pod she hid in a box of ham dingers. Yeah. There are no more escape pods, Mike. You do know that you're sitting in the water heater, don't you? Yeah, I know. Come on upstairs, honey. We'll make you some Swiss Miss. Uh, well... How about if we see a really good Joe Don Baker movie? Well, I think I can guarantee you that's never gonna happen, Mike. <sighs> Got oh, Pearl's calling. Poor fella. Really? Oh. Does it say anything about our dental coverage? 
Uh, shut up. You have no right to ask. Sorry, Mike. I didn't think you'd take it so personally. No, no, that's what it says in the... What the hell? Uh, what the hell? Uh, what's going on here? We better find out what's going on. Hey, Pearl Drop! Oh, hi, Nike Melson. How do you like my new joystick? Got it at Radio Shack. Say, I was wondering, what does a high-speed tumble do to your stomach? Oh, 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 oh. I am just messing with everybody today. <laughs> what I do? What I do? Oh, hang on now, feel sick. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, you guys, the retro fire has been activated and the ship's initiating a re-entry protocol. What? Prepare for gravitational insertion. Mike, this means uh, we're headed to Earth. Uh, <laughs> Earth, that's my home. It's, yes, yes. Isn't it? Yeah. 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 It is. Yes, Earth. To yeah. Earth. <laughs> Earth. To Earth. To Earth. <laughs> Throw your wreck in the moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> Apparently, you initiated re-entry protocol for the satellite. Well, make it not protocol the re-entry. Make it better! Well, you broke off the stick of joy. It's irreversible and wet bread. You're omnipotent. Do something! Uh, Pearl, the Mountain Dew you so playfully poured into my brain pan affected my gravitational control as well as my speech center's table dog purple liquify. No, damn it, no. They will not escape. Gave me, I'll see them dead first. Oh, so, hey, Lawgiver, why don't you just take and use the satellite's self-destruct mechanism? We have one? Yeah, right there. <gasps> Bobo, I'm a genius. Take this, losers. Uh, chili squint. <laughs> 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 this is it. I love you, Pearl. I love you, Servo. I love you, Gypsy. I love you, Mike. I love you, Servo. I love you, Pearl. I love you, Gypsy. I love you, Mike. I love you, Servo. I love you, Gypsy. I love you, Mike. <laughs> Um, Servo, do you want to I was going to say it. I just couldn't think of your name. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, the satellite of love is headed back to Earth. Paper not bound to feet. It's as good as done, Lawgiver. No! No! Oh, no! <laughs> oh. Oh, this can't be good for us. No. no! Oh, Raging clip art. <laughs> Re-entry commencing. Entering low orbit. We'll be landing in one hour and 55 minutes. Hooray! Yeah. We did it! We did well, it! Well, I mean, we didn't really do it, but... Uh... <laughs> well, it was done by someone! Yes, yeah. someone did it! Yeah. It was done! So you're coming back to Earth, huh? So I failed, huh? Ah! That's fine. That's okay. Good for you. But there's still one button that works, so you're still getting your final movie. I give you... Diabolic. If it gives you half... The hell I have had to endure keeping you captive, it will have all been worth it. <laughs> oh, movie sign, let's go. Boy, we're not gonna be hearing that back on Earth. Yeah, let's enjoy. Yeah. Would you get in here, please? Boy, we're not gonna be hearing that either. Let's enjoy. Yeah. Come on! Let's go! Ah! Tom, what's our situation? Beginning re-entry, Mike. Good. Oh, total heat shield failure, Mike. Bad. Well, what's going on? Deck three broken away. Oh, oh. Deck four broken away. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, Cam, like, give me rocket number nine. Oh, Nelly. Deck five broken away. Deck six broken away. Deck seven melting and broken away. Gypsy, what do we do? We burn up horribly. It's too dreadful to contemplate. Oh my God in heaven, please have mercy on our soul. I'll call Pearl. Whoa, oh, toxic gas filling our lungs and our nasal passages. Pearl! Now sing, damn it, sing. It's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way. 
Look, Nelson. Move on. I am. Whoa! Deck 9 crash into decks 10 and 11! Shit! We're going down! Brace for impact! We're all gonna die! Mike, have you seen my other sweater? Yeah! <laughs> boy, oh boy, this Kamjipsko stock is up. I mean, way up. Well, Gypsy did want to let us in on her public offering, but we said no. Well, if you remember, I made a fart noise. She only took it as a no. Yeah. Well, still, it all worked out. I mean, we were very fortunate to walk away from that crash. I'll and say, yeah. <laughs> I guess if we were all multi-billionaires, you guys wouldn't have moved in with me. True. Yeah, that's right. Sweet garden-level living. One bedroom, one half bath, and on the bus line. Sweet. <laughs> hey, who's for rice? Would you sit down? The movie's about to start. Come here, dummy. WTMJ TV in Milwaukee presents our Saturday afternoon movie, The Crawling Eye. The Crawling Eye, the Marty Feldman story. Oh, Forrest Tucker. He's the guy that makes sure the tree's shirt tails are in. <laughs> this movie looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? 